Hi, my name is Morgan Silva. I'm a makeup artist and hairstylist here at Adirond's Hair Goods, home of Renee of Paris, Noriko, and Amour. And today we're going to be doing a glam skeleton for Halloween. So we're going to do a glam side here and down here and skeleton across. So I'm going to go ahead and use this neutral brown shade, buff that in all over the crease. Then with a smaller brush, more like a blending brush, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some black, just regular black eyeshadow. I'm gonna put that on the corner. I'm gonna go in with that same brush with that neutral color, just to kind of blend it all in. I'm gonna grab a silver pigment, just to kind of put all over the lid. I'm gonna go back in with the black eyeshadow. Just to give it a little more depth. Just blend it all together. I am gonna go with this little silver glitter liner. I'm gonna just kind of stipple it on. Just to give it a more of a little glittery effect. Go back in and do the brow. I'm actually using two different lashes. I'm using this Demi Wispy just to kind of give it a soft, subtle look, and then a full mink for the skeleton just to give it more drama. Now I'm gonna go in there with a liquid liner just to give it a nice wing. bit of foundation. Remember we're only doing half. We're gonna stop about your cheekbone area. And add some concealer. I'm gonna go in with a pressed powder just to set her under eye. Go back in with a smaller brush and a black shadow just to apply under her eye. Go ahead and do the other side of the face. That requires the glam look. Because remember it is on opposite sides. Now on this side, all I'm gonna do is add the lip with a red lip liner and just do half the lip. I'm gonna go back in there with a red. And add mascara just to blend the lashes. So that's half the look. Now the fun part, we are going to do the face painting. <laughs> Use white face paint to start on the skeleton. And all I'm doing is just dabbing it. You don't want to apply too much. Now we're going to go in there with a black, you could use liner, face paint. I prefer like a gel liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the black eye area with black eyeshadow. I'm blending the black liner into the white. It's kind of giving it that shadow effect. Go back in with a white eyeshadow to set the white face area. And define the nose area with a black liquid liner. Make natural facial expressions. Feather up. Go back in with the black to set on the nose. Black eyeshadow. Put a lash just to kind of give it some glam. 
with a brown. Add some depth. We're gonna add a little bit of contour to this side. Do the same to this side. And we're gonna go ahead and do the teeth area, the mouth. Set the painted area with a white powder or eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in there and contour. So because we're doing the mouth area here, we're gonna kind of focus more on giving her a lot of depth on her cheekbones. I'm gonna go in there with a black liner. Buff that out. Do the mouth by using a black liquid liner. I'm gonna go ahead and draw just a straight line. All you wanna do is just draw lines straight down. Blend I'm using a little bit of black shadow. I'm gonna go back in there with white paint and create the teeth. Go back in with some more powder just to blend it all kind of in. We're gonna add my favorite part, her highlighter. And the last step is add some blush. So to top it off, we're gonna go ahead and use our Flawless Wig in Silver Mist from our Orchid collection. So the reason we went with this wig, it's lace part and lace front. It goes beautiful with our Halloween look. And I mean, this is straight out of the box. The silkiness, the texture, it's just, it's gorgeous. So because it is a lace front, we are going to have to blend in some product. So if you would use this for your everyday, you would definitely want to use your regular foundation. I'm using black because it's going with the theme for our Halloween look. And there you go. This is our final look of our glam skeleton.